So I, I thought maybe I'd talk briefly about two things. One is, uh, I was just at the, uh, the, the annual 3 c Summit in Bucharest uh, last week, <laughs> um, uh, about what the status of it is. And then uh, talk about what I think is more important right here, which is why I think it's important for Italy. So, uh, so if the idea of the 3 c uh, Summit was to um, stimulate the, the many, many tens of billion dollars of investment that's needed to integrate the north-south uh, backbone of Europe, that corridor, um, focusing on energy, uh, moving energy north-south, which we've all seen after the uh, Ukrainian war is really economically vital for, for Europe, but also digital connectivity and also infrastructure investment. Um, so, so where is this? Well, I, mean, it's, it, I would say, um, Politically, this idea has much more cachet than the actual investments. I think the 3Cs itself um, is an increasingly known and accepted concept, and I think the brand is strong. And, I, and part of we see that, I think, is the fact that the Greeks uh, have joined, uh, and that Ukraine and uh, Moldova both become partner nations. It's a recognition that this idea of um, stronger uh, uh, investment is, is a good idea. I, having said that, I, I would say the initiative itself in terms of funding, I'm just being practical here, is probably not doing terribly well. Um, I would say that the principal reason for that is um, the, the, uh, the tension between Germany and Poland. Okay? Uh, in, in Germany, the Three Seas Initiative, which was uh, in some ways part of it, it's very much seen as a Polish vanity project, kind of an anti EU project. Um, so the Germans are not terribly interested, and you know there's this, 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 this endless hope in Germany that there's going to be a new election, and the very pro-German government is going to get elected, and they'll forget about this thing, uh, and all the German and Polish problems will disappear. Um, and the last U.S. administration was actually quite supportive of the Three Seas Initiative. Uh, that has cooled significantly. In, in part because uh, the present administration really does kind of look at Europe top down. It looks to, Europe, it looks to Berlin and Paris and Brussels and kind of makes their signal to their instance. Uh, Berlin is very cool on this, and the Americans are very cool on this. And so I think, especially the lack of kind of robust American support and engagement, um, we went from sending uh, very senior cabinet officials to the three season issues to kind of increasingly decreasing uh, important officials. I think that has. Uh, help um, undermine uh, some of, of the momentum for that. And, but I would say, so I think the future of the actual investment program itself remains an open question. I, I think, and I think it will not turn on the Polish election. If the Polish government live, comes back, then you know, I, I, don't, I think they'll stick with it. If they don't, then, then the, 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 uh, the initiative itself might kind of wither. But I think the brand is here to stay. And, and let me talk about just a Brief minute, and I'll turn back to the moderator about why I think this is important. Uh, I think it's in Italy's interest to see the successful development of a north south backbone for uh, economic uh, 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 engagement and integration in Europe. Uh, one, as Italy seeks and, and I think should be an important energy hub for Europe uh, to move energy south to north. This is this is just a very complementary development. Um, that is going to bring additional economic growth, um, which I also think gives to Italy's benefit. And, and, and even though this is not explicitly a security project, the reality is that there's more south economic integration and greater prosperity and greater infrastructure. It makes the eastern frontier of you know, much, much more defensible, much more integrated. That I also think is to Italy's benefit. That allows, I think, a more appropriate focus on the Mediterranean here. And as, as the three seas do develops, and the Black Sea develops, and, and I think there, as the littoral states of the Black Sea build up their capability, it's much less likely that this will suddenly be a Russian like or an area of military conflict, and much more likely that focus will shift to the uh, free and open transit of, of shipping in the 
Black Sea. That not only is a great enabler for the three seas initiative, but that that is a, the connectivity that is needed to build out to the middle corridor to bring the Caucasus and Central Asia into the European market, and particularly to bring that energy into the European market. Where do those things all end up in the Eastern Med? Um, and that puts Italy right in, in the hook of that connectivity. And then that, that's, that opens up the Mediterranean as a true hub. And then as we develop, as I'm sure my colleagues have talked about on other panels, the, the, the Middle East corridor to the Indo-Pacific, um, all this is terribly enabling to um, Italy. So I, I, I do think it would be in Italy's interest um, to be a partner nation uh, in three cities and to be an advocate for the development of, of the three cities. Because in the end, I think Italy would, would be one of the great beneficiaries. And, and why do I say I, I care about this as America? Well, look, it is vitally in America's interest that our friends uh, and allies prosper. A strong Europe that is free, whole, prosperous, and secure is in the US interest. And um, linking the infrastructure of Europe together which enables better security, but also helps bring prosperity is um, a great benefit to the United States. Extending that to other friends and allies in other areas, I think is enormously helpful. And, and I'll just end on this. Um, I know there's a lot of discussion in, in Italy about uh, work in, in North Africa, maybe some in East and West Africa, and the Matei plan. I think these other projects are prerequisites. If the, if, if the three C's and these other projects are taking off and we're connecting people and we're bringing in wealth and importance in the Eastern Med, then I think we have a perfect storm of countries that are like-minded in Europe, um, Asian partners like Japan, Korea, and India, and the United States to collectively work together and extend that into, into uh, North Africa and North of the Sahel. I, you know, I think the reality is, is none of us have the capacity on our own to really make a difference in Europe. Or really, the, the inter maybe Italy probably has the greatest interest in a peaceful and stable North Africa, or the interest to really do that. But collectively together, I think what we bring to the table outmatches the Russians and the Chinese and the Islamists and everybody else. Um, the, the connectivity that's, that's possible through the Eastern Med creates both the opportunity and the initiative um, and, the, and, the, and the rationale for America and its European partners and its Middle East partners and its Pacific partners to try to coordinate our efforts to do better things in, uh, in North and West and East Africa. And so I think, oddly enough, I think, you know, the, the, the military thing they say, you know, hold the bridge, right? Mm -hmm. And so a non-military person, Thing. She would run down and stand in the middle of the bridge and say, no, you, you shall not pass. Right? Military guys, they stand on the hilltop overlooking the bridge and say, I control the hilltop. I now control the bridge. If we have economic prosperity and stability in the Mediterranean region, that's the foundation to build out for better engagement, better prosperity in Africa. So I do think that the Three Seas Initiative and, and Italy's desire to, to really be a leader and, and uh, in Africa, these things are actually working together. And in many ways, you know, Italy is kind of 